America is in trouble today, not because her people have failed, but because her leaders have failed. We see Americans dying on distant battlefields abroad. We see Americans hating each other, fighting each other, killing each other at home. We see cities enveloped in smoke and flame. We hear sirens in the night. As we see and hear these things, millions of Americans cry out in anguish. Did we come all this way for this? listen now to another voice. It is the voice of the great majority of Americans, the forgotten Americans, the non-shouters, the non-demonstrators. They are not racists or sick. They are not guilty of the crime that plagues the land. They are black and they are white, native born and foreign born, young and old. They work in America's factories. They serve in government. They run America's businesses. They provide most of the soldiers who died to keep us free. They give drive to the spirit of America. They give steel to the backbone of America. They give lift to the American dream. They are good people, decent people. They work, they save, they pay their taxes. They care. Like Theodore Roosevelt, they know that this country will not be a good place for any of us to live in unless it is a good place for all of us to live in. This, I say, is the real voice of America. And in this year, 1968, this is the message it will broadcast to America and to the world. Let's never forget that despite her faults, America is a great nation. America is great because her people are great. With Winston Churchill, we say, we have not journeyed all this way across the centuries, across the oceans, across the mountains, across the prairies, because we are made of sugar candy. America is in trouble today, not because her people have failed, but because her leaders have failed. What America needs are leaders to match the greatness of her people.